the writing went on for a while. I remember seeing the stigma uprisings in 76. Tear gas getting shot into a crowd and dudes with whips and rubber bullets. Our primary school got evacuated. My mother, she collects tear gas canisters for me and brings them home. And I would sticky tape them onto my toy guns and pretend I was shooting them at the riding students. Really messed up thinking about it. It's interesting talking about this stuff when you're just growing up in the world and that's how it is, it's, that's what you know. I see myself as an Australian, but I, you know, I don't disregard my South African heritage at all. Drawing religious stuff is where my art started flourishing, I guess. My parents were Christian and go to Sunday school and I'd end up drawing in Sunday school a lot. But it was definitely an escape for me. I, I could just go and be creative. Around the age of 16, I decided the church wasn't for me. I didn't want to worship like that. I didn't want to have that as my basis of relating to spirit. started looking for something else. There's something greater or more to be explored. I paint with primary colours mostly, bright, intense, vibrant colour. and free is one of the things I really strive for and the watercolour medium is really good for that because it's, it's very fluid and it runs away with you and it does what it does. Mistakes happen and I'm still learning as I'm painting. I think I'm getting better at just allowing the mistakes to be part of the piece. I don't have formula, it's scribble, you just scribble and make a mess. It's all just plain experimenting, playing, and just being free and just allowing the process to do its own thing, to emerge on its own. My world was the coloured world. The suburb I lived in was all coloured people, like myself. We used to go for bike rides. I'd say to my friend, oh, let's go to the white area. So we're going to cycle to the white area. It's kind of like a no-no, you know, you don't go there. We'd go cycling to where the, the whites only area was. And we'd go cycling down the drains and canals. We'd kind of just, just watch, just watch what they were doing. How do these people live? They're different to us. They must live differently to us. I still have strong memories of that time, of seeing segregation. Entire suburbs that are divided into white area, coloured area. It comes through into my art, but not always. My art's sort of flowing and evolving. Creativity for me comes in different ways and at different times. I take inspiration from everything, from nature, from other artists. I mean, I can look at something and be inspired by it, but I'm not going to imitate it. I 
Drawing is a continual correction. It's not a perfection. You make a mess and then you may arrive at a product or you may not. It's more about creating a feeling, just creating a feeling. Now that you can draw, then start breaking the rules. <laughs>